Okay, so this is going to be my, my official Vasil Lomachenko versus George Cambosis prediction. Um, this fight is going to be for the vacant IBF lightweight title. Um, it's taking place on May the 11th in Australia. Let's start by going through the tale of the tape. Vasil Lomachenko stands at five foot seven. He has a 65 and a half inch reach. He'll, he'll be 36 years old by the time this fight takes place. He's a southpaw. He's a double gold medalist. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer. And he's a three weight form, former three-weight world champion. His record reads 17 wins, three defeats with 11 wins by knockout. Although his record should be 19-1 and one because he got robbed in the second professional fight against Orlando Salido that had... 40 pounds on him and got uh, help from Lawrence Cole, the referee, and low blowed him, accounted 40 some odd times. And he also got robbed for the undisputed lightweight champion of the world versus the bitch Devin Haney. Um, so his real record is 19 and 1, and he should be undisputed right now. George Cambosa stands at 5 foot 9. He is a 68 inch reach. He's 30 years old. He's an orthodox fighter. His record reads 21 wins, two defeats. Both of those wins or both of those losses, rather, coming by, uh, both coming to, uh, from Devin Haney. He has 10 knockouts. And also, we have to throw in there that George Cambosis just got a gift decision in his own right versus Maxie Hughes. Now, Maxie Hughes proved to be a better fighter than most, most people were giving him credit for, but George Cambosis looked god-awful in that fight. Um... I'm happy that Vasil Lomachenko is getting another crack at a world title. He has to go on the road to get it. He's a real road warrior, just like his his counterpart, Alexander Uzik, is. Um, George Cambosis has good hand speed. He doesn't have a lot of power, though. And I know what you're going to say. Well, he, put, he knocked Teofimo Lopez down. Yeah, but Teofimo Lopez is a little bit chinny, if we're being honest. Sandor Martino hits like a feather, dropped him twice. All right. Um... Look, man, this is a good fight for Lomachenko at this stage of his career. Like I say, Lomachenko's been getting a lot of hate for this fight, which is fucking ridiculous considering he just got robbed, blatantly robbed against Devin Haney, in which he should have been the undisputed, crowned the undisputed champion of the world. So the hate that Lomachenko's getting for this fight is just ridiculous because nobody had a problem with Teofimo fighting Cambosis and nobody had a problem with Devin Haney fighting Cambosis twice. And we didn't even need to see a rematch. Um, so why is it a problem that a past his prime Lomachenko who just got robbed out of his undisputed crown is fighting Cambosis for another title at 36 years old at the butt end of his career, you know? Um, but this is a good fight, man. Cambosis does have fast feet, fast hands. He likes likes to lunge in there a little bit. He does he does have youth on his side. He is only 30 years old, whereas Lomachenko's 36 years old. Um, he's a little bit taller. He's got two inches of height on uh, Lomachenko, or inch and a half, rather. Closer to an inch and a half, I would say. And he's got a two-inch reach advantage over Lomachenko. But to be honest with you, I, I, I think this is somebody that's tailor-made for Vasil Lomachenko. I think that... Cambosis will come forward. He will let his hands go. And that's what Lomachenko wants you to do so he can uh, uh, solve your puzzle, you know, fight, uh, dis uh, manage his distance and c use his angles and use his hand speed to eventually use your own aggression against you. And that's exactly what I expect <coughs> Vasil Lomachenko to do in this fight. I think... I think that this fight, given the fact that both guys have good hand speed, given the fact that both of them have a lot of experience under their belt, I do think it'll be competitive for a few rounds. But once Lomachenko starts getting his timing and his distance management down and starts really finding George Cambosis' rhythm, I expect this to be an easy night at the office for Lomachenko. And yes, Lomachenko is visibly past his prime. He just blatantly got robbed against uh, against Devin Haney, but I still think he has enough to to the point where he's gonna he's gonna make a make an example out of George Cambosis. Like I say, I think this is gonna be a competitive fight for a few rounds. But after Lomachenko gets in his groove groove, gets in his rhythm, uh, I expect things to take a turn for the worse 
as far as George Gambosis goes. George Gambosis, man, this is another shot. Again, for this is another opportunity for George Gambosis to become a two-time lightweight champion of the world. Um, big opportunity for him. Um, Lomachenko is a little bit older. George is, is, is slightly bigger. He's slightly younger. And we can never take away the, the fact that George Cambosis did, did legit uh, take Tiafimo Lopez's O away from him. And Tiafimo Lopez is the one guy that, you know, legitimately beat Lomachenko, unlike Salido and unlike Devin Haney. So, you know, I expect George Cambosis to uh, be on his P's and Q's. I expect him to give Lomachenko a good fight. And it is in, in George Cambosis' home country of Australia. So, I think it's a good fight, especially for a past his prime Loma at his at this stage of his career, you know. And it's a, and it's a good stylistic matchup. It makes for a fan friendly fight. Both guys have a lot of experience at that high level, at the elite level. Both guys have a lot of hand speed, and and both guys have fast feet. But ultimately, man, like I say, even though Lomachenko's a little bit over the hill, he is coming off a year long layoff. Which I think the older guys, guys that are on the dark side of 35, I don't necessarily think that's always a bad thing, taking a 10 or 11 or a 12-month layoff. I think that's actually going to be a good thing for Lomachenko. He got his head cleared after getting blatantly robbed against Devin Haney. And I expect Lomachenko to come in this fight very, very fresh and very well prepared because he knows that if he loses this fight, he's, it's over. It, the, it, the, the career is over. He's probably never going to get another shot at a world title. So I expect this to be a fan-friendly affair and a very good fight. And I expect both guys to have their moments. But ultimately, man, the, considering the way that George Cambosis looked in his last performance against Maxi Hughes... I do think Lomachenko will eventually get into his rhythm, get the gears going, and he'll be able to time uh, George Cambosis and use his angles and use his footwork to eventually really put the put put the heat on George Cambosis. So, for my official prediction, man, I'm going to say Lomachenko uh, wins this fight. Um, uh, I'm going to say, you know what, just for the hell of it, I'm going to say Lomachenko stops George Cambosis in the 10th or the 11th round. Now, Lomachenko's power hasn't been what it was at 130 or 126. He doesn't have the same power at 135, and it's because he's been fighting bigger men. But, uh, yeah, man, I think it's competitive. I think it's a fan-friendly fight. It is for uh, the vacant IBF lightweight championship of the world, but ultimately, man... I think Lomachenko's just going to be a little bit too much for him, a little too crafty for him, a little too uh, diverse and ambiguous for George Cambosis to figure out. But both guys are, you know, speed kills, and both guys got a hell of a lot of speed. Both guys got fast feet, and both guys got a lot of experience at the elite level under their belt. But ultimately, man, I got to go with Lomachenko. I think Lomachenko's going to come out with a vengeance, considering he just got blatantly robbed against uh, Devin Haney. So, yeah. That's my two cents anyways, people. It's a it's a good fight. I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, everybody knows I'm a big Lomachenko fan. And I think it will be competitive for a handful of rounds, but ultimately, I'm going to say Lomachenko gets him out of there and stops him towards the end of the fight in the 10th or the 11th round. That's my two cents anyways, guys. Good fight. I'm looking forward to it. Um... And, you know, we'll see what happens, bro. But, uh, yeah, good bounce back fight for Lomachenko at the, at the end of his career. After he beats George Cambosis, which I do expect him to do, I expect Lomachenko's probably going to have one more fight, whether it be against Shakur Stevenson or Emmanuel Vecchiero Navarrete. So he'll probably have this fight one more big fight, and then I, I would presume that Lomachenko will probably finally call it a day and eventually hang hang the gloves up so but for my official prediction like i say i got uh i got lomachenko getting cambosis out of there i'm gonna say in the 10th or 11th round after a, after a fan fr fan friendly and a fairly competitive fight that's my two cents anyways guys please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel and god bless you all and thank you for watching the video man take care